Hey, thanks for joining me this week. Uh, today is one of uh, uh, a series of videos that I hope to do over a period of time where I talk about uh, different brands that, that I enjoy, different products uh, by a brand that I enjoy. Uh, something you, you probably don't know about me um, because you know very little from this video series is that uh, I am a very brand loyal type of person. So when I find a product or a brand that I can be loyal to, that I can continue to provide business to, uh, I, I like to do that. Um, and so in some cases, those are stores. Uh, I love to be uh, a faithful fan of the local uh, local businesses. And in some cases, being in a major metropolitan area, some of those are uh, in the Atlanta area, Delta Airlines, Home Depot, uh, Coca-Cola. I love to be uh, a fan of the local businesses and and uh, support our local economy here. But uh, today I want to highlight three specific brands that uh, have really impressed me over the last couple of years and uh, brands that I continue to use on a regular basis. Um, the first one is uh, Dollar Shave Club. So I've been uh, a member of Dollar Shave Club for probably, uh, I would say probably about two years. So I started out, this is the uh, Humble Twin. So this is a two blade, uh, uh, Two blade razor, it comes with the handle. Um, pretty easy to snap in, snap out of. Um, I have used this primarily over the course of the two years. I did recently switch and I'll show you uh, that product here in a minute. But uh, with the initial box, they send you a handle and they send you five blades. The blades look like this. They come in a, a cardboard sheath. Uh, and I've really liked the, uh, the Humble Twin. So I, as I mentioned, I switched to um, one called the 4X or the four times, which is a real heavy duty. Um, you can see kind of, uh, it's a heavy duty handle, much more sturdy, much more durable. Uh, the blades are um, four blades. Uh, and uh, I switched to this probably over the last two to three months or so. Uh, and I've decided to switch away from it uh, because I haven't been as satisfied with the shave that it produced. I, I think the handle is much more durable. Uh, the product is a little more expensive to go with a higher uh, grade uh, uh, blade with uh, multiple uh, blades uh, beyond the two. Uh, but I just felt like the, the Humble Twin, the blades uh, gave me a cleaner shave and I wasn't having to go back and re retouch up with an electric razor or things like that. Uh, but what with the Humble Twin, I get the five blades uh, every month, it's a dollar for the five blades and two dollars shipping. So I've continued to uh, subscribe to this product. Uh, I change blades about once a week. So that means that over the course of a month, I'm going to end up with a surplus of one. So what happens is that uh, using the Humble Twin, I usually uh, will run to a period of time where I can discontinue the membership or the subscription and uh, use my excess for a period of time before I have to uh, start the program up again. So I've been a, a real big fan of this. I'm a big advocate. Uh, Signed On was uh, originally, uh, my interest was piqued with uh, their viral uh, commercial, which you uh, can look up uh, on YouTube. I uh, might provide a, a description uh, a link in the description where you can see the original. Uh, a little bit tongue-in-cheek, a little bit irreverent, but uh, it piqued my interest. And uh, I've been a member for several years and been very happy with the product, which I use today. And uh, it's uh, thrown off a wicked glare. Uh, the next one is uh, I have a thing uh, for shoes. And so when I started running, uh, this gave me an opportunity to have even more of a thing for shoes. Uh, so I, uh, over the course of the last... I would say probably last three years, I made a transition to a different kind of uh, foot strike and running. As you know, traditionally, or you may not know, traditionally in running, what happens is you run with a heel strike. So your heel comes down and hits, and then your foot kind of does this. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I ran for a number of years like that, but just started having some uh, back and uh, leg and hip issues and decided to transition to, uh, at the time I started, was a barefoot or a minimalist approach. So went to uh, a Vivo barefoot, barefoot shoe, which is a very minimal, like an eight millimeter uh, sole, uh, to try to transition to where you're landing, you're, you're landing with more of the front of your foot, more of the ball and, the, and your toes and then you're rolling your heel down. 
So you kind of do like that when you run. Uh, so transitioning to that. So I did that with a, a more of a barefoot type of shoe to start out with and then transitioned uh, to a product that had more cushioning because I found that although I, I liked the forefoot strike, uh, I really needed more cushioning. Um, my knees and my back couldn't handle it without uh, the cushioning. So I discovered a brand called Ultra uh, and I will show you several pairs. I've got four pairs. Uh, most of these are still in rotation. Uh, these are my favorites uh, by far. These are the Ultra 1-2, uh, 1-2.5, excuse me. I did have a pair of the Ultra 1-2s, which was the brand before this. Uh, the, the thing I like about this is this one is super flexible um, and uh, very light, very cushy, uh, a very uh, fast ride. So when I started running, I would hear this concept of people talking about a fast, a fast shoe. And I thought that was ridiculous. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Being fast is dependent on the person. It's not on the shoe, but uh, in all honesty, I have run my uh, fastest uh, single mile time in these shoes, which was just under an eight minute mile uh, outdoors. Uh, just at the start of a run uh, was actually surprised myself. I was running that fast on the mile. Um, but I, I really love these. Now, I, I do have uh, some issues with them. They're very breathable, uh, very flexible. You can see they just they curl up. Um, my issue with these is that these are not designed to be a three to 500 mile shoe. So they, they do have durability issues. You can see um, already excessive wear. Um, this All this white is, I believe this is uh, the A-bound material. I'm not 100%. But this stuff is really soft and wears uh, excessively uh, and quickly. And you can see right here, because this is about right where I strike, is right in this area. There's a lot of wear right here. So these shoes don't last a long time when they're uh, being used in regular running. Uh, what has happened, though, is these shoes are so comfy that I have uh, gone to using these as my almost everyday tennis shoe. Uh, Ultra has recently released something called the Takala Takala. Uh, it is an everyday shoe. It's made on this uh, shoe, this sole that I'll be getting so soon uh, that has, uh, and it's a casual shoe. It's not made for running, but it has, it's made that it can be a slip on uh, or uh, a slide. So the heel drops like that. But I, I love these shoes. Uh, I would uh, highly recommend these as the regular running shoe for uh a lot of people recommend them for speed training. I don't do a lot of speed training. You know, if I run, I'm just running. Uh, but they are super comfortable. Again, not highly durable. Won't last you three to 500 miles. Uh, you're lucky, I'd say, uh, 200, 250 miles on a shoe like this. Uh, the next ones I got, and these are shoes that I will be retiring soon. Uh, this is the Paradigm. And this is a maximalist shoe. You can see it's a, it's got a huge uh, sole here. But I decided to try this uh, just because there's been a lot of talk in the market about the uh, Hoka 1-1s one uh, and that whole movement to maximalist, which is the opposite of the barefoot movement that got me into this in the first place. But I thought I would try this. I got these at a real great price uh, on eBay, brand new. And I thought I'd give them a try. Uh, one thing I, I did, didn't at first realize <coughs> is that these are super cushy, but you don't realize it because there's a good bit of firmness, even though this is a soft, uh, material, there's a bit of firmness and, you know, they're not super flexible. So they don't, they don't feel cushy at first, but when you, when you transition between the different shoes and I would come back to these, it became extremely noticeable how cushy these are. Um, and I've worn these, uh, these are ready to be retired. I, I probably won't run in these. I ran in these earlier this week and I probably won't run in these again. Uh, but these are a, a, a good shoe. Um, the recommendation for a maximalist is that this is your long run type of shoe. I, you know, again, I wear whatever shoe I feel uh, motivated on. Uh, you can see the sole again, this white material, which is like the eight bound. You can see how it just wears like crazy. Um, and you can see where I've, uh, you know, where I kind of, I strike on the front part of the shoe. Uh, you can see where the wear is. And when I get uh, lazy on my run and I start dragging my foot, this is where I start dragging it. So you can see kind of the wear there uh, on this side of the foot. Um, but uh, again, a great shoe, a comfy shoe. Now, this shoe uh, runs about true to size. So you want to do uh, your traditional one size up. Uh, the one, two, five that I just showed you uh, runs real small. So I would almost go, uh, I wear an 11. These are 12s. Uh, my current uh, 
2.5s are 12 and a half, I believe. And I would recommend, let's see, let me confirm that. No, these are 12s. And I would almost recommend that you go up. Uh, I would almost go two sizes up. So I think I could probably go in uh, 13 in the 2.5s to, to do those. So this next one is a shoe that's, uh, this is an old model. So this is just, uh, there are like three models that have come out since this. This is the Ultra, Ultra Superior 1.5. This is a trail shoe, uh, an aggressive uh, sole. Uh, it's a little more of a, a firm ride than I, than I prefer. Um, the, it does have a rock plate insert uh, under the insole here in the shoe, uh, but it is specifically designed for, de designed for trail running. So I've tried to transition a little more to trail running uh, because I just enjoy it more. There's more scenery, more to see. Um, I've had to uh, dodge wildlife, avoid snakes. Uh, it's just a lot more fun, uh, a lot uh, a lot prettier of a run, a lot more enjoyable, get to enjoy nature. Um, but they have uh, two or three versions. I think they just released the, the uh, 3.5. So they release them in increments. So to go 1.52, 2.53, 3.5. So I think they just released the 3.5 on these. Um, so these are an old one. I do want to upgrade these to the newer one, but they have a lot of life in them. I haven't run uh, near enough in these trail shoes. Um, but the uh, the grip is not as aggressive as I would hope. Um, the newer ones do have a little more of aggressive uh, grip. Uh, they do have a tail rudder, which I cut off on these, and a gator trap. Uh, this is a, a gator is a piece of fabric you put over the shoe and around your ankle. It kind of goes up, and it prevents rocks from getting in. Um, so what you can do is you can Velcro it to the back here um obviously i don't i don't use that i don't uh, uh use uh, gators uh, and i don't run in an environment that's uh, terribly conducive to that so these have been a good shoe highly durable uh, i would really prefer to be running in the newer versions i got these at a great price as the um a couple newer version uh versions were coming out so um, was able to get these and then the uh, my current running shoes are um, these again are a, a couple models back, um, but this is the Instinct 3. Um, you'll see, obviously, this is a, a weird looking shoe for a running shoe. Uh, I, and what I haven't said all along is that what, what's uh, interesting about this brand is that these shoes are first off are foot shaped. You can see it's kind of shaped like your foot, um, but it's also what's called a zero drop platform, which means your toe and your heel have the same drop. So it promotes this this strike down on this end of the foot um, because it's the the same depth and it's not hiked up like this, which almost promotes you to strike on the heel. Uh, this is the Instinct Three, just a, a, a standard uh, ultra running shoe. <clears throat> I think again, I think they've come out with a, a couple models since then. Maybe the Instinct Three Point Five. Maybe I, I think Three Point Five is the last one. Uh, but this is kind of my go-to running shoe right now. Uh, I've, again, I've enjoyed this. It's not as cushy as the 2.5 uh, or the Paradigm. Uh, it's not as stiff as the Paradigm and not as uh, loose as the 2.5. So this is kind of your, your moderate. Um, but it's been a, a real enjoyable shoe. But what I've really enjoyed about this brand is that uh, it, it works with the new foot strike that I've been working on. So that four foot strike, uh, it promotes that proper running uh form. And also what I've liked is they've come out with a couple of lifestyle shoes. I talked about the Tokala, Tokala uh, earlier that is just a, an everyday shoe. They also have a desert boot that is built off of a frame of another shoe uh, model they have called uh, the Torin. So they have a desert boot, which uh, is on my hit list of which in, probably within the next year, I'll have both the Tokala and the uh, desert boot. But uh, and they also have another do, uh, no, another shoe called the Everyday. Um, I don't remember the model, but Everyday. But I'm a real big fan of the the brand of uh, what they're doing, what they're promoting, uh, and uh, the new products that they have coming out. They're releasing new models all the time, so I'm a real big fan of that. <clears throat> um, the next product I can't really show you. Uh, well, I can show you a variety. So it's a, a company that has a variety of products, which I've been showing you one all along. You did not know about. Uh, but this is Zenny Optical, which is an online uh, eyeglass company. So what you do is you get your uh, your prescription from your optometrist. You get the right measurements, uh, your pupillary distance, your uh, different measurements you need. Obviously, you need the the width uh, from uh, across, and you need the uh, 
the temple length that you need. Um, you can get them to measure that, or uh, you can do some of that measurement at home on your own. Uh, but uh, over the years, I have been uh, a customer almost exclusively, well, I take that back, exclusively of Zenny for my glasses since about 2009. So probably about eight years or so. And as a result, uh, I'll show you this here. Uh, as a result, in, in addition to the glasses I'm wearing, uh, I have uh, a quite a collection of glasses uh, from Zenny. And you'll notice that even in the videos, if you paid attention, I've been wearing different glasses each time because I'm able to swap them out. The cheapest pair I've ever gotten, I think, were about $15 total, 15 to $18, which was the total pair of glasses, frames, lenses, uh, everything. And were a style that was similar to this was a generation or two ago that I had bought a pair similar to this. So uh, very affordable, very inexpensive. Uh, I normally buy uh, <clears throat> anywhere from two to, well, I take that back. I've anywhere from three to four pair at a time. I do have two pair of sunglasses that are shown here. And, and I also have a pair that I bought from uh, Goggles for You, which is another company, uh, which I've just tried out recently because they had a good sale. Uh, but here are my very first pair I bought. And I'll tell you the story here. So uh, obviously anyone that has glasses, wears glasses, knows that um, you, you can be real picky about them. And going to the optometrist, you know that uh, it's pretty expensive to get a new pair of glasses. And you know that you, you, you generally, you're gonna look for whatever uh, you believe looks best on your face or is the highest quality. Uh, and I was no different. I frequently would always, frequently, I would always pick out an expensive style like a polo or something like that that would, would cost a good bit of money. So I bought a pair of glasses uh, right before those uh, pair that were similar to this were uh, a rimless. They were a pair of polos, uh, super nice pair of glasses. I uh, loved them. And uh, I had just, uh, was coming up on the end of my warranty on them and I replaced the lenses <coughs> and uh, I think that was free and shortly after replacing the lenses uh, the they cracked right down the middle here so I went to my optometrist and I said uh, hey I just got these brand new lenses uh, I want you to see if you can just swap them out with uh, uh, a new set of frames which you can see with those it's only like three pieces of metal it's like the nose and then the no, the um, the arms, uh, the temples. <clears throat> so I said, you know, that, that shouldn't be that expensive. I got these new lenses. How much would that cost? And they said $350. And I said, $350, you gotta be kidding me. So I decided, uh, Clark Howard, I believe, uh, a, an Atlanta personality on the radio and a, a kind of a financial guy had been talking about this and I had caught, uh, caught wind of it on one of his shows or, or some, some way had heard about this. So I decided to check it out. I ordered that first pair uh, in 2008, 2009, somewhere around there, and uh, have loved it and have ordered a plethora of glasses ever since from there. Uh, in some cases, I'll order a pair specifically for an event, may order a pair to uh, match a color of a specific outfit or series of outfits I may have, uh, may order a certain style. I do have a pair of, that are for sports, uh, running like running goggles that I have. Again, I have two pairs of sunglasses. Um, I have one pair that is our transition lenses that in the sunlight they'll uh, go dark. I uh, have uh, a, a couple pair that are bifocal um, with a, a line showing for uh, reading that uh, I keep in various places around the house. I have a new pair that's on order, scheduled to come next week. So I'm a huge fan. Um, <coughs> huge fan. Well, actually, here's one of the pairs of bifocals. Uh, and uh, have been real happy with the quality. Um, there have been a couple um, uh, misfires that I've had. I think those are probably uh, my fault where I ordered a pair of glasses that did not have the right dimensions to what I needed. Uh, ordered a couple pair that just didn't, plain and simple, didn't look good, so I didn't wear them. Uh, but when you're spending $15 versus $350, uh, it's a little easier to make that type of a decision. Uh, not that I'm uh, frivolous with that, but I'm willing to try things that I wouldn't have tried for $350 for $15 or $20. Uh, and so I obviously got a, a good number of glasses. So these are three products that I've, uh, are brands, Zenny Optical, 
Dollar Shave Club, Ultra Zero Drop Running Shoes. These are three brands that I'm a huge fan of. I'm a, a huge customer of. I continue to uh, do business with on a regular basis. We'll uh, be getting new Ultras, uh, I hope, in the coming months. Uh, probably within the next two months, I hope to get the boots and the, uh, the casual shoes. Uh, as I mentioned, I have the Zennies on the way, coming uh, probably uh, within the first couple weeks of February. Uh, should get my new pair, um, which is a, uh, a pair of bifocals uh, without a line, so uh, a transition um, or progressive. Is that progressive? I think that's progressive. Uh, and Dollar Shave Club, obviously, I get a shipment every month, and you can change the frequency on that. You can take hiatus with that as well. So these are three brands that I'm huge fans of. Uh, this is, they are not a sponsor. They're not paying for uh, this in any way, shape or form, but I enjoy the products and wanted to let you know about it and see if there are any specific brands, <coughs> excuse me, or products that you have been using, that you use, that you continue to use, that uh, you would be interested in promoting or letting us know that, hey, this is a product that deserves your attention. Uh, something that we might all use, uh, everyday products, uh, whatever it is, let us know. Uh, check the uh, link in the uh, comments uh, in the description below. I'll put links to uh, the products, the different websites for the different brands that I've mentioned, and you can go check them out and uh, give them a whirl and have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks.